And you use the term technical debt. If you look at just because most of our workloads today run on cloud, of course, data centers are there. They will be there for a lot of time. Mainframe will be there. We are also looking at edge. If you look at this whole sprawl of, uh, of course, uh, uh, architectures, platforms, what do you mean by technical debt? Technical debt is almost like a catch-all f- phrase. And what we're, f- we're focusing on is architectural technical debt. And if you see what our friends at Gartner define that as, they say that by 2026, 80% of technical debt will be architectural technical debt. And what we mean by architectural technical debt is really how the business logic of of applications is structured, right? So the way that it manifests itself is that over time, sort of the accumulation of architectural decisions and implementations that lead to complexity that prevents you from releasing features quickly, you know, prevents you from innovating at the pace that you're looking for and prevents you from scaling the way that you would like to scale your application. So all of that is architectural technical debt. And of course, it is also tied to the cloud because once an organization is looking to migrate to the cloud, they want to get more out of the cloud. They want to get more agility, more innovation, more scalability. And the architecture is what's preventing them from doing so, right? So that's kind of also how architectural technical debt is also tied to uh, how we can get more out of the cloud, right? It all has to do with the architecture of your applications. 